Good morning, Mapleton Online. Here are your morning announcements with me, Janice Garpella Straub. Today is Thursday, December 16th, 2021. And today in history was the date of the last major eruption of Mount Vesuvius, an active volcano in Italy. And it was also today in 1707 that Mount Fuji, a volcano in Japan, last erupted. Both of these volcanoes, along with more than 500 volcanoes all over the world, are still considered active and could erupt again. Although, in the case of Mount Fuji, there aren't any signs that it will happen anytime soon. Most of the active volcanoes in the world are located in the Ring of Fire, which is a region that encircles the Pacific Ocean. At first, I was going to say, don't worry, kids, we don't have any active volcanoes in Colorado. But then I looked it up, and it turns out we actually do. There is an active volcano in Dotsero, Colorado, north of I-70 in the mountains. You still don't have to worry, though. It hasn't erupted in over 4,000 years, and it's not likely to erupt again anytime soon. The geological definition of an active volcano is any volcano that has erupted within the past 10,000 years. To a mountain, 10,000 years is barely any time at all, while to us, it encompasses all of recorded history. Pretty neat, huh? Today's weather will be sunny skies with a high near 51 degrees, and tonight will be mostly clear with a low of 28. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And it is Winter Spirit Week. I forgot to change the slide from yesterday. So today is actually Hot Cocoa and Hat Day. So enjoy a, a hot cup of cocoa while wearing a hat. And tomorrow is Pajama and Popcorn Day. Wear pajamas and enjoy some popcorn. If your class is doing other things too for Winter Spirit Week, that's awesome. And please send me a picture. Our next science fair meeting is today at 3 p.m. Your project videos are due January 10th, so make sure you get working on that during break. And speaking of break, as you probably remember, middle school is already on winter break, so if you are in 6th, 7th, or 8th grade and you are watching this, get off the computer and go enjoy this beautiful sunny day. For elementary and high school, we have school today and tomorrow, and then we are off until January 5th. Winter break is a good chance to update and shut down your Chromebook, so I recommend applying updates and shutting down your computer after school on Friday. For more information about this and other computer maintenance, see our Mapleton online website. Middle school girls basketball will be starting in January. It is open to all 7th and 8th grade girls in Mapleton and registration is on now. If you want to participate, don't wait because spots are limited and registration will close when the teams are full. More information can be found on our Mapleton online website. This is a picture of the 2021 Blue Knights Drum and Bugle Corps featuring a member of their color guard. My cousin was on this team, although she's not the one pictured. She is currently a senior at Douglas County High School, and she is doing Winter Guard also. Um, but this past summer, they toured the country performing at different competitions and showcases. And my cousin got her start her freshman year of high school in her school's color guard. She's found it to be one of the best experiences of her life. So if this looks like something you want to do, you should join the Winter Guard. It's open to all Mapleton 7th through 12th graders of all genders from all middle and high schools in the district. No experience is necessary. The first interest meeting for Color Guard is today at 4.15 p.m. in the Global Leadership Academy Gymnasium. Um, in the meantime, you can use these QR codes to get an idea of what Winter Guard is all about. And if you would like to participate but you can't attend the meeting today, please email Ms. McNally at mcnallym at mapleton.us. Here is our Amplify Reading Weekly Leaderboard. Our top three are Aisha Akakayal, Alan Jackson, and Zainab Akakayal. And here are our honorable mentions. Jonathan Hosselton, Adeline Hernandez Ramirez, Shayla Schwartz, Gino Duran, Noe Ojeda Javier, and Alyssa LaRue. Specials today, 1st, 2nd, 4th, 6th, and 8th grade have art. And our word of the day is hibernate.
Some animals sleep through winter. That practice is called hibernating. Did you know that most bees hibernate? This is a picture of a bee sleeping in a flower, but when they hibernate, they hibernate together in their hives. Here's a drawing of Donald Duck done by Shannon Martinez Galvez in sixth grade. And if you have something you would like to share on morning announcements, you can contact me on Teams or email it to me at scarpellaj at mapleton.us. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.